Okay, this is what you get with a basic license. You get fixed drop loss, fixed roof out, fixed roof in, last buy drop loss, last buy percentage drop loss. For the indicators, you get RSI, MA, MA histogram, MACD, MACD histogram, and the price push indicator. Insurances overcome fee costs, never sell below, last price insurance, cancel open order after so many minutes, percent price change insurance, and price change insurance. Okay, I'm just going to go over quickly some of these. So the so-called drop loss is what most people call a stop loss that is going to sell when the price goes down to a certain point that you have specified. Fixed loss is quite simple. That is, let's say I bought at 100 and then I set my drop loss at 95. The price reaches 95. It's going to sell whatever the trade amount specified is. Roof out. Roof out is going to sell when the price goes up to a certain point that I've set. So let's say I bought in at 100 and I want to sell at 105, then I could set the roof out and that would do that. Roof in is the opposite that's going to buy in when the price goes up to a certain point. So let's say I wanted to make sure that I bought into the uptrend, then I could set a roof in that is can be clever when used together with a drop loss. So for example, the weekend dump on Friday or Saturday that dumped, your drop loss was triggered. And then when the price started to go back up, your roof in was triggered and you're back with the uptrend. But that's just one strategy, one example of how that can be useful. You can also base your drop loss on the last buy that you made in the bot. So last buy price drop loss. So let's say you bought in at 100 and you have here price drop 10 and it went down to 90 based on your last your last bot then your last bot purchase then it would sell and last by percentage drop loss is the same idea but it's just based on a percentage okay here are the indicators rsi moving average moving average histogram macd macd histogram and price push it would take a lot of time to explain what each indicator is. RSI is a momentum indicator. Moving averages work differently. And you could also double down. So you could have two RSIs or three RSIs or however many you want. That would be fine. Insurances. Overcome fee cost insurances that is useful for scalping or for doing a lot of trades in a day, then you're probably going to want to set that up. Never sell below less price insurance, self explanatory. Cancel an open order after X amount of minutes, also self explanatory. Percentage price change insurance, so you're only going to sell if the price goes up or down a certain percentage which is very similar to overcome fee costs and price change insurance is just like percent price change except it's based on a fixed value like one dollar or one um, 0.01 bitcoin or so on instead of percentage based so that is those are the basics of what you get with a beginner license it's more than enough to get started so I will make more videos showing what you get with the other licenses. Okay, I hope this was helpful.